Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook that usually goes well, but then every now and then we have technology woes like the one we had yesterday. Yesterday, the internet went crazy, and it was not only me. It was everywhere. Right after the broadcast, I went ahead and I checked the quality of my uploading and downloading speed, and clearly, um, Telmex was having a field day, and I don't know what was going on elsewhere, but definitely there were some things that were not in sync at my end. But unfortunately, these are things that I can only control so much. If you experienced problems with yesterday's live broadcast, please know that some things are within my control, others not so much. If you would like for me to explain this further and geek out a little bit on technology, all you have to do is write the word problem in a comment by itself, and we'll go there during the uh, comment section. The word is problem. So, <clears throat> other than that, this is Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live, where we exchange information. We share headlines from our city, state, and country. We look at your comments, questions, ideas, and suggestions. We combine all this good stuff so that we can enjoy a quality experience connecting with each other, connecting with our destination, Puerto Vallarta, as a community of English-speaking locals. We are here Monday through Saturday, rain or shine. Some days we pre-record, but that is an exception. Anyhow, today we have all kinds of fun and interesting news. We have a new lady. Oh no, I mean, somebody, I mean, somebody just does, somebody did something really stupid, and I'm going to be so very happy to share that so that we will not ever be inspired to do something as stupid as what Lady Chichen Itza did recently. We also have news about, well, let's just go to the news. But first, as always, if you're watching live for the first time, you'd like to let us know so we can give you a nice welcome. All you have to do is write the word new in your comment. We'll be so happy to give you a nice little welcome. And of course, if there is something on your mind that you really want to share with everyone that you would like some feedback or comment about, it helps a great deal if you add the capital letter Q to your comment, and then we will be looking for all those Qs during the comment section. And I think we are good to go. We'll talk about the cool weather during the weather section. Let's jump into the headlines. Luna, you, you, you're late. I mean, you just got here. You missed the intro. Luna just got here. She's meowing. And she's like, what the fuck? Why aren't you petting me in bed? Anyhow, the long weekend, <laughs> the long weekend may be over, but the business of keeping the city clean is never done, particularly in areas where tourism abounds. Case in point, Los Muertos Pier, where the combination of irresponsible tourists that don't understand the concept of picking up after themselves and an, under, an understaffed public works department at City Hall result in these types of images. Regretfully, from where we sit, there is very little we can do other than 
to be responsible beach users cleaning our own trash once we leave the beach and our dogs poop if we have a puppy that we'd like to stroll the beach with. And of course, I mean, it doesn't hurt if you're walking down the beach and you see something on the on the ground, on the sand, if you don't mind picking it up. I mean, it's just little efforts like that that I think make a big difference, but maybe that's just me. A similar problem persists throughout the city, apparently, with advertising banners from the different performance venues. Now, it is established, or at least we have established, based on information that we saw a few weeks ago, that official banners are the only thing allowed in the main uh, in the main streets, the main avenues, and that other banners may be allowed within neighborhoods. But there is still the issue of who takes the darn things down once the event is over. Again, there's very little we can do about this unless, of course, we are part of the problem. But hopefully the city will continue to find ways to address these situations. And now let's just cut to the chase. And this has got to be the craziest lady we've ever featured in Coffee and Headlines. This is Lady Chichen Itza, a tourist from Spain who decided to throw caution to the wind and climb the Kukulkan Temple, also known as the Chichen Itza Pyramid in Yucatan. Now, this is one of the most precious archaeological sites in Mexico and one of the seven wonders of the modern world. And it is strictly, strictly forbidden to go up and climb it. Um, it is also illegal, and it comes attached to a hefty fine. So what happened? This lady said, oh, screw this. I'm going to go up there anyway because I can. And the onlookers, well, let's just say it didn't go all that well for her when she was brought down from the pyramid. Take a look. Estaba tomando una foto linda a mi novio cuando... Please don't ever be that stupid. A esperar a la poli. Yes, she did. <laughs> Luisa's like, oh no, she didn't. Yes, she did. Ya se cansó. And she takes a break to drop her bag. No and she gets up there and she doesn't give a shit. I mean, this is like... And she dances. <laughs> Pendeja. Oh, my God. And she's just wandering around. And then she goes into the temple. I mean, I could just die. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I tell you, don't ever, don't ever be that stupid when you travel to other countries, please. <laughs> if you go to the show notes after the broadcast, you can see the very, very inspiring video uh, that was shot when she was brought down. I and mean, people were, I mean... They had to protect her from the mob. People were so incredibly um, insulted at this. So, <laughs> and Luisa says, hold me back. And I tell you, Luisa, I don't know that it's possible to hold you back. And that's the beautiful aspect of you. Let's go to the weather. <laughs> Luna, we're in the middle of a broadcast. I'm sorry, it's not about you. It's about 26 degrees right now. That's what it's about. Humidity is at 62. Our Fahrenheit temperature is 79. And our weather forecast looks like this today. It's going to be a clear day. You can see forever. 29 is our high. 21 is our low. Uh, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, partly cloudy through the day. High of 29 and low of 19. And then on Thursday, partly cloudy with a high of 28 and a low of 17. Ah, yes, it's been so freaking chilly. Yesterday was a day off and, and Logan sent me a very accurate message saying that there's a certain still and calmness that can be sensed throughout the city. Yesterday, Luna was cold and I know that Luna is cold when she goes to the bed and she just meows from the bed expecting me to just cuddle 
in bed all day long with her. Well, I didn't do that, but I did take a little nap at some point. I slept for like an hour. Luna was, I was sleeping sideways. Luna was cuddling against my chest. She likes to do that, particularly when it's cold. And I fell asleep for an hour and I woke up an hour later and Luna was still there. That is my kitty girl. I love her. Anyhow, moving right along, I have other things that may be interesting to you. And we're going to start with this one. I'd like to lead with this one because there is a lot to unpack here. Barcelona Tapas will present an amazing, amazing performance at the restaurant on December 9 and 10, featuring Bobby and Roberto Carcases from Cuba. They are father and son and eminent musicians that have collaborated with big names on, in the jazz world in the United States. They will be performing live along with a handful of amazing local musicians, among them the incredible Silvia Basurto and Paolo Uccelli. This is going to be an amazing concert, live music, Cuban live music, Two nights only, and I think you can reserve with 500 pesos, which will be deducted from your bill. I'll leave you with all the information, but I would also like to comment on something, if I may. This was not announced as a Facebook event. I came across this on Facebook only because I happened to click like on Barcelona Tapas, and it happened to show up on my Facebook wall. But if you are wondering why it is a difference, whether you put something in an event calendar or, or if you publish something as an event or if you just put it on your wall, please just write the word event and I'll be happy to explain why I frequently bring this up and why it is important that if you are organizing specific events, it makes a difference if you put them as an event on Facebook and not only in your Facebook wall. So if you want to know the difference about this, just write the word event and I'll be happy to explain myself once we go through the comments today. And of course, here goes another Guinness World Record. This one took place in the municipality of Peribán in the state of Michoacán where locals set out to prepare the largest guacamole bowl in the world. And there you have it, all 4,972 kilos of it. That's a shitload of guacamole. <laughs> and that's expensive. And can you imagine the number of flies? I wonder if they try to collect the Guinness World Record for the number of flies that must be swarming all over that big bowl. We don't know what happened to the guac. I certainly hope they had a huge event and a lot of people ate um, a lot of guacamole. Uh, um, hold on just a second. Thank you. Um, moving right along, I was happy to find out in the event section of Facebook that Crystal and Anna of Organic Select here in Colonia Versalles are relaunching their body and soul yoga studio with a special event this Saturday. It's called Gratitude Celebration, and they will offer a series of free scheduled events throughout the afternoon starting at 4 p.m. These will include meditation bowls, air dance performances, ear earth drumming, rather, water performances, and a fire dance. If you are in Versailles this coming Saturday in the afternoon, you may want to check this one out. And of course, this one also caught my attention. The nice folks at Culture in Colonia Emiliano Zapata are preparing for their third annual special Deck the Halls event, which will be on December 8 from 6 to 9. Uh, this will probably be a great opportunity to shop for holiday gifts if you're going to be shopping for those. The event will feature charity art raffles, Christmas, Christmas specialty drinks, and a performance by the Puerto Vallarta Gay Men's Chorus, which we had a pleasure, the pleasure of meeting the base section during our recent meet and greet. We know that the Gay Men's Chorus is going to be scheduling other performances, and I'm eager to hear about them. I checked their Facebook page, and there's still nothing there. But hopefully, they will publish an event on Facebook. 
Last but not least, this one caught my attention, comes from a website that I enjoy called makeuseof.com, which usually features all kinds of important and interesting um, information that you can put to good use. And this is an article that features five ways to maintain your closest friendships remotely when you live abroad. I have a lot of friends that I'd like to stay in touch with. And maybe since some of you are here only for six months and you want to stay in, lo stay in touch with your loved ones, you may find a couple of tips that you can put to good use. And now let us switch over to comment mode and see what we have for today. And let's see, I want to hear a little bit more of this. There you go. Okay, so we start with our good mornings as usual. Um, very happy to see that um, that things are good at your end. Let's hope for better reception today. Again, if I see people writing problems, I'll explain further. Uh, -dum -pam -pam -pam. More good mornings. Oh, that's right. Dan says, finally able to be here live. The kids have kept us busy doing lots and lots of touristy type stuff. Yelapa has... You guys went to Yelapa? You're crazy. You took Kathy on a wheelchair to Yelapa? My goodness, I have to applaud this because, uh, wow, I, I can't wait to get together with you guys to hear more about that. That's wonderful. Um, let's see. Let's see. Liz, sa Liz says hibernation time here in Orilla. I don't know where Orilla is, but the weather certainly makes me feel like hibernating. It's wonderful crochet weather, let me tell you. Uh, let's see. Todd, who gives us more television channels than God, says, It's freezing. I'm cold in jeans. Good morning, everyone. I love it. Um, Kathy's making chicken enchiladas. I'm going to be making chicken enchiladas this week because I bought a lot of chicken from... Um, from Costco and my crock pot, my slow cooker gets so very happy when I buy a lot of chicken. Oh, and here are your comments about Lady Chichen Itza. I tell you, and you know what? If you've ever been to the pyramids, I haven't been to Chichen Itza, but for example, the pyramids in Teotihuacan, the steps are really thin and they're very high. So, I mean, coming down, it's 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 scary because you could easily trip and you could easily fall down there are no handrails i tell you uh christine says there should be a fine or jail time there is i just certainly hope that she was given a fine um hopefully she was let's see what else we have <laughs> Uh, Luisa says she should at least get Montezuma's revenge. Well, wrong pyramid, but great concept. I love it. I love it. Oh, and there's like a lot of people that say event, event, event. Okay, let me let me get into this business of the event for a second. Boop. Okay. If you are an event producer, you have two choices. If you put something just on your Facebook wall, like Bill... Carvalho did. Okay. This will most likely only be seen but by people that like Bill's Facebook page. In other words, you are already a fan. But if you want to capture new audiences, new audiences are not going to see it unless they randomly happen to see it. You see, when you publish a Facebook event, the event becomes searchable and people that are looking for things to do are bound to find it. Now, I'm not the only person that goes looking for things to do every morning for coffee and headlines. I'm sure that a lot of people do that. But for example, every morning when I go to coffee and headlines, I go to the Facebook events section and I ask Facebook, you know, what's going on this week? And that's where I get ideas from you. A lot of times I found out about things that happened, but I find out about the f after the fact because they were not turned into Facebook events. Now, it is also possible that Bill is so popular that he has already sold out the event and he's just putting it out there for people to know. But more often than not, it really makes a big difference if you are event producers of any kind and you publish your events. Conversely, 
and I'm going to demonstrate this. Why not? If you happen to be a regular user of Facebook, like I am, and you go to Facebook and you go to events. See, this is what I do every morning. Every morning I go to discover events and I go to my location and I type Puerto Vallarta. Oh, come on. There you go. Puerto Vallarta. And now Facebook, Facebook is showing me things that are going on in the city. Some of these I may choose to feature in the broadcast. Some of these I may choose not to. But the bottom line is when you do this, whether you are looking for things to do or whether you are uh, producing an event, it really makes a difference. Now, moving right along. Do -de -do -de -do. Let's see what else. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late watching the Mexico World Cup game. Excellent. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yes, I did. Kathy, thank you so very much. Kathy left me Butterfingers, I think. Yes. You see, I, I got two surprises at Whiskey Kitchen recently. And I don't know which one of the two was you. But yes, thank you very much, Kathy. Gina told me. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, let's see what else we have. Ah, Sue recalls a time when you could go to the top of Chichen Itza. I climbed up, but like you said, the stairs are narrow and steep, so I came down on my butt. You know, I probably would have done the same thing, especially now that I'm 60. Um, it's... No, no, no. Uh, Kathleen says, that is so right about events. I know someone who's reporting events through Messenger. Just choose not to read. Well, again, it really boils down to whether you want to reach a bigger group of people or just a narrow one, but it really makes a difference. And friends, remember that putting an event on Facebook is free. Promoting it so that it'll reach specific audiences, that's a different story. Um, let's see what else we have. Uh, Butterfingers, yes. Okay, the Butterfingers, says Kathy, uh, are now safely in my freezer where they will remain until I get to them. I'm trying to get slow with the Butterfingers because look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's horrible. I'm eating a lot, but that's okay. I'm just a happy person. Uh, so speaking of happy person, I think we are done with today's broadcast. I hope it was a happy broadcast for you. It certainly was for me. Tomorrow, Wednesday, what's going on tomorrow? Well, more news, hopefully more news. And then Thursday is Thanksgiving. For those of you that celebrate, I hope you've already taken care of your plants, whether you're eating out or whether you're eating at home. I read through the grapevines that the um, air fryer Thanksgiving course at, um, at, at Rob's Hotel, at Eric's Hotel, was really successful, and this is absolutely wonderful. Anyhow, have a great day. And I hope to see you again sometime soon, if not tomorrow. Take care.